We're just getting to Walmart. We're gonna run in and get school supplies. Are you guys so excited for school? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Kate, you've got your Me list too. with everything Me that too. the school could possibly need to run. So let's excited this. too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, it's that time of year again. Can you all guess what it is? It's coming up in a couple weeks. It's school. Uh, are you the parent that's happy? Or are you the parent that's sad? Because I don't know, I'm kind of happy, but I'm also kind of sad. Happy because I could use a wee bit of a break. Sad because I'm sad that summer's over. Like we wait so many months and then it comes and it's so fast and then it's gone. And it's like, we have such long winters here in Utah. I just like want to soak in the summer. It's like coming to an end. With school starting, that means school shopping. The kids do wear uniforms at their school. That meant we had to buy all new uniforms. Uniforms. We could use some of the leftovers from last year, but here's the problem. The blues fade and the tans get dirty. So at our school, you can wear red, white, or blue shirts. And then for bottoms, you can wear navy and khaki. Now, here's a couple things I've learned. I've talked to my friends. Their opinions are totally different. So this is just totally my opinion. It's different with every family. White shirts, I like to do them. My kids don't generally get them very dirty, but last year, they got them a little bit more dirty than I liked. I like the red because it feels like, I don't know, happier, less dingy looking. So this year, I did two red and two blue shirts. So with the shirts, they can look faded really fast. That's hard because I hate like the dingy worn out look. That's just part of uniforms. And as far as pants, I love tan pants, but again, they stain. I love the navy, but the knees turn white. What I did this year is I did three pairs of pants in tan and two pairs of khaki pants. And because they were such a good deal when I bought these uniforms, I went ahead and got the kids shorts too. I got them four pairs of shorts. So I might have to do laundry a little quicker these first summer months and then next spring. So I've got the kids line up here. Even Brexy's gonna be wearing Something. I know you guys this is a pile. We've never had before mr. Brexy doodle is gonna be going to school with you guys what? Brexy's gonna be going to school now, so he has to wear uniforms. He'll only be going to school for a couple of hours, but I still feel like he needs a uniform for every day. He could come home and change right away, but let's be honest, that's probably really not gonna happen. So we've got Brexy's stack, crew stack, and Ryler's stack. They've got all the same stuff. Two red shirts, two blue shirts, three khaki pants, two navy pants, two khaki shorts, and two navy shorts. We are gonna try these on. Brexton is sitting next to some extras. We don't know what sizes we need for who, so I bought an extra set of a different size just to see. Let's get rocking and rolling on these school uniforms, get them on and see what everyone thinks. I was just asking the kids, what do you want to try on first? Kirby, tell me what you think. I don't really like blue on blue, and so I would probably like this and this, or this and this, or this and this. Yeah, that's why the red shirt is so great. And same with the white, even though we didn't do those this year. The white is so versatile. Same with the red, it can go with either pair of pants. But the blue is not as much. So the reason I only bought them four shirts, just so you guys are aware, is their school does a school branded t-shirt that they were able to wear on Fridays. So we did not get five shirts so they can wear that awesome t-shirt on Fridays. I got all of my school uniforms at Children's Place. I've tried Old Navy and I've tried Oshkosh. I always wear my church pants for them at Children's Place. So that's where I went this time. They were half off and then because it was my birthday, I got a coupon it was like 20 or 30 percent off so then i took 20 or 30 percent off of that I saved like almost a hundred dollars it was awesome you can go ahead and come out and show me your number one combo <laughs> good job everyone Ooh, ooh. okay so this is where oh you guys all did it actually i was gonna say this is where it's kind of funny to see who is gonna button it all the way up but they all three did it this time brexy this is your first time wearing school uniforms do you like it Okay, so these all seem to fit. Ryler's seems a little bit long. 100% cotton, it's gonna shrink just a little. Brexy, what do you think? Okay, let's go try on another combo. Brexton gets to choose this combo. I kind of have to laugh at this next combo because this is what I just said that they hate to wear, so. All right, you guys, let's see this next combo. <laughs> this one? All right, do you like this? Do you like this one? You guys, I wanna show you something cool. I'm sure you all have seen this. Krubies, I'm gonna have to use these. They have these little adjustable waists. I can pull it tighter or loosen it. Ryler doesn't need those. And Brexy, whoa. <laughs> Yours need to be tightened a little bit. That means that they'll last. Right guys, did you choose a combo yet? All right, let's go choose a combo. All right boys, are you guys ready to show me your next look? Guys, I like this combo. I like the blue and khaki because the red and khaki kind of looks like you guys belong at Target. Do you like this? What's your favorite combo so far? I like the blue and the Okay, well we have one more combo we haven't tried. Red and blue. So let's go try that one on. Okay, boys, are you ready? Oh, okay, come on in, come on in. Whoa, guys, I think this is my fave. This is my fave, what do you guys think? Oh, my kids are a little too long. Yeah, so we ordered crew 10s. Turns out he probably needs eights. Probably gonna keep those and just let you grow into them. Brex, what do you think? Are you excited to go to school? Kindergarten, big timer. All right guys, so we've got clothes. What else do we need for school? Backpacks. 
school supplies. Backpack, grams, school supplies. Scissors, glue. All that. We got to go buy school supplies go. next. Do you go with my backpack. Are you going to go to school? Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got to get you some new school clothes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We are all done trying on school clothes. We do have, oh, we didn't try on the tan pants. Do you guys want to try on tan pants? Oh, uh, we'll save those for later. Save those for later. They fit the exact same as the blue pants. School clothes are done. I'm just grateful that part's done. We gotta go get school supplies. They've mentioned they wanna use their same backpacks from last year. We bought really nice backpacks last year, so I'm okay if they use them for two years. Also, their lunch boxes are those cool Nike ones that Brandon bought back from a business trip. They said they wanted to use those as well. I'm game for whatever. The only person that needs a backpack because he doesn't have one is Mr. Brex. So we gotta go get a backpack for him, school supplies for all of them. Probably need to buy some new shoes. And maybe socks and undies. Let's clean up this mess and get going. After after trying on school uniforms, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get this all done today. I made crew change. I was like, what are you even wearing? It's fine when he's playing around the house and that kind of stuff, but I was like, you probably need to go change. Got freshened up a little bit. We're gonna head out and go buy school supplies. So I thought, you know what? Let's just get it done today. I have time. Brexton does need a backpack. So we're gonna grab a couple of things like that. You guys, I'm so excited. I don't want them to go back to school, like at all, but I really want them to go back to school. All you moms know exactly what I'm talking about. You love the time that you get to have, no schedule. I also really love my structured life. School supply list in hand. We are headed out. We're gonna go get this done. We're just getting to Walmart. We're gonna Running to get school supplies. Are you guys so excited for school? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Kate, you've got your Thank list you. with everything Thank that the school could possibly need to run. Katie's so excited too. <laughs> <laughs> <Here's your laughs> are you so excited? I'm hoping because we are early to the game that this will be easy. Guys, look, here's lots of stuff. I'm just hoping because we're early to the game for school supplies this year that it won't be picked over like it usually is. We're going on a big trip the week before school starts, so we need everything done ahead of time. And I'm super excited because I get it all done ahead of time. Awesome. Rexy, here's your list. And so you've got your list. Okay, here's a pen. So you can mark off when we when we get something on your list, okay? So let's start from the very top. First thing, I need two composition notebooks. You can choose the color. Okay, so we actually happen to be standing next to composition notebooks right here. They don't have a ton in stock yet. I think they're still working on it, but you need two. So just choose two of any kind. Let me tell you one thing that is such a frustration for me every single time we do back to school. Our school, for some strange reason, they require these Tycon Daroga. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. They require these specific pencils and I can never find them because we're always late to the game. Guess what? They have tons. All right, you guys, how many pencils do you each need? They said- Yours says mechanical or regular, but Kruby, yours says- Mine is two high quality pencils. 48 number two pencils. How many pencils do you need? I think you need 48 as well because you know, you're gonna use 48 pencils for the entire year. Kruby, so you need two boxes of those. Yeah, because 24 plus 24 is 48. Ah, yes, you're gonna rock third grade. And I know that probably just because like every single day is 24 hours. Oh yeah. It's sticky up there. Grab it. Whoa! Cruz, so you have both. Rye guy, are you gonna choose mechanical or uh, regular okay, pencils? Well, I already chose these. Okay, but because you're gonna be using these all year long, I suggest you buy a good mechanical pencil and not a crappy one. What? So I don't even know what brand that is. I would maybe go with like a Bic. Those are really good ones. Alright guys, so you got yours. So prove it, yeah, make yourself a pile. Oh, I need a um, mark. mark off what you what you've gotten. So you have gotten your pencils. Rye guy, you've gotten pencils and your composition Two notebooks. Colored pens. Yeah, you do need colored pens. So Riley needs colored pens. Are these colored? I would choose any. I would choose those too. Yeah, I think they're I'm just colored. making sure these are colored. Is it right in front of my nose and I can't see it? I think that these are colored. You should be good. All right, you guys. Right, guys, show me your list. You guys, I want to show you two colored pens. what it looks like. I don't know if your guys' schools are like this, but look at the list Ryler needs. I mean, he needs several items. We've, we're making a pretty good dent in his. This is a lot of stuff that they require. It's surprising. Cool. I need a ruler and a protector. <laughs> ruler for me too. Oh, perfect. Okay, ruler. Teal notebook and teal, teal everything. Yes. What color do you like, right, guy? What's your favorite color? Ooh, I like these ones because they're like bent. Yeah, they're called flex. I can play with them in class. And Brexy, you need scissors. Do you want to pick out a really good pair of scissors? You need blunt tip. You need the ones that are rounded right here. So make sure you pick blunt tip, not pointed tip, okay? Or he could just get one of these that comes with like a... Ooh, that comes with a, like a cover so no one gets hurt. But go ahead and pick one of those. Those are more fun. The right guy chose a black ruler. You guys, my Miss Hazy is being so incredibly great. Huh, that's my perfect princess. Kruby found his blunt tip scissors. Show them which one you got. Soccer, yes. Do I need blunt tip because it says blunt. You need blunt Tiny tip scissors blue. yes oh there's paints. watercolors you need watercolor paints how many does it say does it say eight or sixteen two watercolor mr magoo you're gonna need two of those will you just grab two out of that box one two great job everybody that needs crayons come over here brex i think that's you crew you need two boxes we're just gonna get the 50 cent box they have 24 in each pack okay perfect how many boxes does it say that you need
made. Perfectly perfect. Mine says large. Large glue sticks. I don't like that brand. I like the other brand better. So will you put those back? Brexy, you need 10 glue sticks. 10 glue sticks. So grab, is this a, how many is in here? Oh, well, that's 12. That might work. So you need to mark off the watercolors and this one and this one. So you just need a pencil box and folders and a few other little things. And do I need a backpack? Yes, it says you need two brad folders. That's these things. So will you choose two colors that you want of all those folders? There's all of these that you can choose from. Ooh, I love that blue. No? Ooh. That one's also kind of cool. Has like leaves on it. Okay, you get to choose one more. It's hard to choose, huh? Oh, you have to do a prong one. You have to do one of these ones that says the word prong. All right, show me what the other one was that you chose. Ooh, blue and blue with leaves. I love those. Okay, go put those in your pile. Good job. It says here that you need a pencil box. Pencil boxes are down here. It says you just need a standard sized one. So let's just get like a regular pencil box. We can spend $10 on one. Let's just choose one of these. So you can get black, pink, blue. Which color do you like down there? Of the ones on the floor. Do I need a lunch box? No, you're not gonna be doing lunch because you're only in kindergarten. So grab a pencil box. Pink, blue, black. I love that blue one. Blue for bricks. B and B. Okay, go put it in your pile. They also need folders. Let's see what you chose. I chose red, black, and white for Utah U. Yes. And then Kirby. Teal, teal, of course. I love it. Okay. And then I also have a teal ruler and a teal composition note. Yes. And a teal pencil. All right, guys, what else do we need on your list? Uh, Brexton's so pretty much done. Other than you guys, something that the schools ask for are like disinfectant wipes, a box of Kleenexes. Brexton's asked for baggies. So there are a few of those things that are not in the school section that we'll have to go get. But I think we're almost done. So I need three highlighters, pink, yellow, and blue, and then one fine point black sharp. Buying school supplies is no joke. I was telling the kids they were like kind of acting crazy. I was like, you guys, this is so hard with three of you. Please be obedient and behave yourselves in the store. <laughs> this lady walked by and she goes, my mom did it with five kids. That's awesome for your mom. We are coming to a close. They've got almost everything. We're just getting Kleenexes. There's a wish list that every teacher gives you at the bottom of the list. Just the things that they'd like to have in your classroom if you'd like to donate. But we're grabbing a few of those things. I always take hand sanitizer because I would like my kid to use hand sanitizer in school every day. There's just so many germs roaming around. So we're gonna gather up the rest of these things, get finished up, go home organize it and put it in a bag for their class. Perfect. Those ones are smashed. Maybe go for one of the boxes down lower so they're not all smashed. But you guys, these are great. I just saw some Incredibles boxes which were way cute, but they were like almost five bucks. These are three dollars to go with great value brand. Go with store brand when you can, but when you can go with store brand, do it. We now have everything loaded. That means school shopping is completely done. Kindergarten! Rexon just yelled, kindergarten! Kindergarten! Oh yeah! Alright guys, let's head home. What an epic back to school vlog. You guys, you got everything you need. You got your school uniforms. You got your school uniforms, you got your supplies, you got everything. Now you guys, we're gonna wrap this vlog up. It's not quite the end of the day yet because mom and Maddie and Hayes are gonna have some fun girl time. But me and the boys are loading up the truck for a little fathers and sons outing, you guys. Fathers and sons is something that our neighborhood does. Fathers take the kids, their boys out on a camp out. It's gonna be so much fun. So we are loading up this truck. We're gonna take bikes, paddle boards, I don't know what else. A tent, sleeping bags, all the camping things that you need. Are you guys ready for this, you guys? Yeah. Oh yeah. About an hour drive until we get there. Unfortunately, there was absolutely no internet, no electricity. What so we will not be able to include any of that in this vlog, but we're gonna go ahead and vlog it, record it, and we'll include it at a later time. So we're gonna wrap this thing up. Back to school for these guys coming up soon. We are out of here. Mom and Hazy and Maddie are gonna have a fun girls' night while the boys and the fellas Daddy. hang in the mountains. Goodbye, this is Daddy. And guys, the biggest thing of all, when we get back, this little guy is getting baptized. We've got his full event coming for you. Tomorrow's vlog, do not miss it. He's gonna be pretty tired for it because we're gonna be out camping tonight. But as soon as we get back, this dude's getting baptized. We're having a fun party at our house. It's gonna be epic. We love you guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Do not miss it. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.